Police are still investigating an officer involved shooting that all began with a suspected armed robbery at this stop and go on West Alexis Road. You know, battalion chief tells me two adults and four children were inside when the fire started, but they were able to make it out without any injuries. Detectives are on scene now to find out the cause of the fire. This Second Amendment resolution was passed unanimously by the Board of Commissioners. Now, what does this legally change for the citizens of Monroe? The answer is nothing. We were out here all morning. I'm standing right outside the gates of Toledo Express Airport, where earlier I spoke with manager Joe Rotterdam about how the airport prepares for disasters like these. The Port Authority telling us they prepare with drills for these types of emergencies to be prepared if they happen on airport property. Health professionals we've spoken with say the flu is still their number one concern with very high numbers of adults and children getting the strain this year. And unfortunately, coronavirus symptoms have been very similar. I spoke with leaders of the Wood County Art Program who say that this money will go towards life-saving resources for survivors who follow through on this program and work with the sheriff's office to get sober. It was a hot weekend here as well as performers and Air Force members are cooling off right before a lot of these planes prepare for takeoff. In addition to an $18,000 stage renovation, the storage underneath was gutted and now there's room for a trap door. And without getting too many bruises, let's see if we can take this baby all the way home and get it all the way back to the station. We were able to make history. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel is the first person to ever catch air on our 18 obstacle Jeep off road course. That re rem remarkable. Yes, that, right? <laughs> that was that the, the word. word. Yes. Good choice of word. Remarkable. Remarkable Rachel. That, that would be my magician name. That's good. We cracked it. <laughs> Let's go to the theater. Oh, no. So for people who take this exit on a daily basis, are they going to notice a change really? One of the first things students in the firefighter and EMT program here at Penta learn is how to use the fire hose. And the preschoolers today learn how to do the same thing. The shoppers are rushing home with their treasures right about now here at the shops at Fallen Timbers. In fact, I just walked into Dillard's and I happened to speak with a sales associate who mentioned that just yesterday they sold over $12,000 just in handbags, and I happen to uh, contribute to more of that just now. In three, two, one. Woo! That high five, that was great. That was great. You didn't seem nervous at all, don't no, worry. Not at all, not in the least sense.